Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning we got a special trailer for you. It is a 2022 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Gooseneck. And what makes this trailer so special is it's got a lot of extras on it that we're going to walk you through. But this is also going to be one of our display trailers at the upcoming National Western Stock Show. So you can come by and actually see this trailer if you're in Denver and, and are attending the show. So before we jump into it and show you all the cool features on it, I'm going to walk you through kind of the, some of the specs on it so you have an idea on how this trailer is set up. First and foremost, it is a four horse. We're 24 foot on the floor, so not a big trailer by any means. We're seven six wide and we're seven four tall. So a lot of customers out there are looking for those extra tall, extra wide trailers in today's market. And this one's set up with that by having that extra height and width. And then also it's got a lot of storage and an awesome tack room. It's a five and a half foot short wall. And, and we're gonna walk you through how this trailer is set up. And again, it's got a lot on it, so I don't wanna miss anything. So again, if you want to come by and check it out at the booth itself, but let's take a look at this trailer. First and foremost, underneath the gooseneck here, with this trailer, just having all the extras on it, one of the very first things we upgraded was the jack. Instead of a manual hand crank jack, we went ahead and put this equalizer electric over hydraulic. And this is such a cool setup because it's not like a lot of the hydraulic jacks that a lot of uh, competitors will put on their trailers. This actually has a manual override. So if we get in an emergency situation, we can actually pump this trailer on or off the truck. Uh, then from there, we can get the system figured out what's going on. Maybe it's just low battery, anything like that. But at least we have that override capability if we get in those emergency situations. And because of that, we need a battery. So we have a battery box that's built at the factory at Cimarron. And on the 22 models, anytime you have that standard, you have the battery disconnect. So we can go ahead and kill all power to this trailer when it is sitting. But what's nice is, is when you have this battery on this trailer, even if you're not hooked on to the truck itself, you know, we can turn on some stall lights, tack lights, manger lights, anything like that. But when we go to park this, we can just reach up there, turn that off. Now, one of the challenges over the last few years, and this happened kind of early 2000s as well, is our truck manufacturers, the bed height got, got taller. Well, we've seen that again over the last few years. Uh, the GMs were kind of the last two. Dodge and Ford had already gone up on their bed heights, but on the new body styles of those GMs, you know, they went up about two inches as well. So when we're dealing with bed height in trailers, we always want adequate bed clearance because we don't want to tear up the bed on that brand new pickup and we know the price tags on some of those, but also we want this trailer running level. We want that equal weight distribution on those two axles. We don't want it nosed up running all that weight on the back axle. And then well, again, we want that, that bed height clearance. Now, standard over the years has been 50 inches. Again, in the early 2000s, it was 47 and then it changed to 50. So here at TransWest, we take it case by case basis, but on a lot of these just using trailers, you know, standard 16 inch wheels, you know, we've gone in and made this 53 inches. So from the bottom of the box here, it's actually to the bottom about right here, but we have that additional three inches. What we strive for is about six and a half to eight, eight and a half inches of bed clearance. I wanna be able to kind of put my pinky on the top of the bed and then maybe just be able to touch that. Now, if we can get six and a half inches, that's good, but that right there is about eight and a half inches. That's ideal. I will never say you that won't, you won't get in your bed because things happen and we go into maybe some areas that it, it just happens and it is gonna tear up your bed, but the, the likeliness of it happening with this type of a setup is drastically reduced. Now, if we're dealing with 17 and a half inch wheels, 19 and a half inch wheels, air ride trailers where we're actually picking the box up higher, we might look at that and keep it at a 50. So you have a little bit more uh, head area in that gooseneck, but we've already gone taller on this trailer. Standard 7.1, this is 7.4. So we added three inches and then we added the three inches of gooseneck drop, but this will give you plenty of bed clearance. And again, keeping this trailer nice and level. Now, let's talk about this tack room, because this tack room, this is what's made this, this trailer and other trailers that we build so popular and so sought after, 
is this dual tack doors, one on each side. It's almost like a his and hers from the standpoint of somebody can tack up over here with their horses, somebody can do the same. You kind of have your own separate sides or maybe it's just horses in general. This horse is gonna be tied up over here, that one over there, and we have their saddles and everything on each side. But again, dual, dual swing outs. I'll show you when we get to the other side as well, but swing out saddle rack, three tier. We did three tiers on each. You can add more if you want. These are adjustable. You can take some off if you want. But now we're out here on the ground being able to grab those. And we've done that because we have this 42 inch wide door. I like what Cimarron does. If you're going to have that swing out, we go with the 42 inch door. We don't have to worry about those saddles hitting these door frames as we go in and out. And also, when this is swung out, because of this added width, I can still walk through this. A lot of times, a lot of manufacturers will be so close that, you know, when it's swung out, you can't get into the tack room unless you swing it back in. On that 42 inch door, You've got your four tier blanket pole rack. It's on a gas shock as well. And then a brush tray. And then as you can see, I'm standing on a fold up step. So as you can see, there's about, you know, eight inches, nine inches from the top of this ledge of this door jam here to the actual step. So now it's a lot easier transition getting in and out of this tack room because of that fold up step. And then we walk into this this front tack room, again, a five and a half foot short wall. We have a four foot offset. So you're nine six on the long wall there on passenger side. We've carpeted the gooseneck drop wall and deck. You've got your windows. In my opinion, that's fantastic because if you are going to stay in here, you can see out. You can get kind of a cross breeze through there, making it a little bit more comfortable. Again, with going up three inches, we lost nothing up here in this, uh, in this uh, gooseneck area because of that gooseneck drop wall right there. And then we put a boot box here. We only did it on half of the side. Uh, it does work as a great transition. Jumping up is a nice step going in there. But because of this five and a half foot short wall and what we were trying to do up here with our tack, we kind of felt it'd be a little bit more open. So we only did the half side of the boot box there. And directly above it, you've got a shelf with a clothes bar as well. So again, great place to hop in, change clothes, take some stuff with you. There's a nice big lip on here, so items will stay up there. They're not gonna be falling off as you're driving there. And then we did the rubber mats on the floor. And then on our partition wall, we carpeted the entire thing and put two rows of bridle hooks, high and low. We understand you're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff with you. So it's nice from that standpoint of having, again, kind of on each side, and then some low and high to, to carry all your tack. The other thing that I think is important, because of this carpet, you know, we're dealing with an aluminum wall here, is we're not having that tack swing against there, scuffing it up, scuffing up the wall. And then also, that creates a lot of noise as you're driving. Think about it, we have horses right on the other side of that wall. So we're making that a little bit quieter. Uh, one thing you could do is back here in this corner, you could add a corner water tank. Our parts uh, department sells those. Real easy to install back there. It's a great place because it's kind of tucked back there, kind of some wasted space, but you can do that. And one of the other things is because we have dual entry doors, we went in and added a light switch at each door. So whichever side, whichever side of the trailer you jump in, you can just reach in here and turn on the lights, which are gonna be these LED OptiBrights that are located above each door. So you've got plenty of light coverage in this front tack room. Speaking of lights, we went ahead and put a 16 inch awning light above the tack door. And then there's one kind of about center of the horse area there. That way you've got plenty of light coverage out here. And then the button LED marker lights, those are now standard on the 22 models. They're really small, but boy, in the nighttime, they do shine. Uh, instead of the big rectangle, and then obviously our big uh, load lights that sit on top that protrude out, there's a good chance if you go underneath, you know, some trees, some branches, some brush, anything like that, those things will get knocked off. But because those are a little bit more flush to that top rail, we don't see that near as much on these trailers. Good look at your four 
bus windows on hip side, four exterior tie rings. Tie rings can always be added, interior, exterior, whatever you want there. We have aluminum 16 inch wheels. Those are standard on Cimarron's. These are nitrogen filled tires as well. So nitrogen filled makes sure that PSI levels don't fluctuate as drastically as air will. You have a one year no limit warranty on these tires from the vendor that Cimarron uses. And what that means is if you catch a nail and it can't be patched, if you have a blowout, if you catch road debris, for one year, they'll cover those tires no matter what. You have two, year, two years of roadside assistance as well. well. Another cool feature about Cimarron's is this fender. So this is a bolt-on fender. So if something does happen to it, you can unbolt it, cut the silicone, take it off, and then replacement is a lot cheaper from that standpoint, from a labor standpoint, because we're not having to what you know cut a welded fender off and then put a welded one back on that takes a little bit more labor so you know saves you a little bit of cost there and then we actually upgraded these tires to g-rated 14 plies over the 10 plies that would have been standard we like a little bit more tire on this trailer because of the added storage on it and then some of the added length that we did to make this setup how we wanted it as we get to the back of the trailer here this is something that we actually had a customer take one that was on order and then they made this change. A lot of times we have one large door back here and he opted for the dual small 50-50s. He just said, man, I live where it's real windy and I don't like that big door trying to catch a lot more wind. It's like a parachute. So he wanted smaller doors and we opted for that on this trailer when we, when we placed the order. So a little bit smaller, you've got windows in each. So again, we can kind of create some airflow through this trailer. Uh, you can manipulate air, airflow with your drop windows, your, your uh, two-way roof vents, and then these back windows creating more of a vacuum and just kind of creating that nice kind of airflow through the trailer itself. But you get this big opening on the back, and again, with these dual 50-50 doors, now they are independent, so one can open ahead of the other. Because of the larger openings, we kind of prefer a strap over a bar itself, because if you drop a bar that's a big piece of metal if a horse does hit it and comes towards you where the strap will just kind of drop so we kind of like that on these bigger openings when we're looking at these trailers here now this is a upgrade here as you walk towards it we opted instead of doing rubber mats we opted to put worm flooring in here so this is a permanent unpenetrable floor that's real easy you can just power wash it out we opted for uh, a black and gray kind of mixture. Again, we kind of had this trailer in mind for stock show to put it on display. And we wanted to show off this worm flooring. We have a lot of customers upgrade to it. Nobody likes wrestling mats. And this is the trick when it comes to that is now this is in here. The other thing is, is it really protects that floor. So anytime we're dealing with these all aluminum trailers, it is extremely important for you to pull mats power wash them out, really take care of that floor on a consistent basis and regular basis to where now you can literally just power wash it out, muck out the solids, power wash it out, and again, you're not having to wrestle those. So it's gonna protect that floor, you know, for, for the longevity of its life. So we've got solid dividers. We did padded dividers on each of them. As you can see, this trailer is actually kind of tilted towards passenger side the way we have it sitting here. And when we open them, these just get sucked over to driver's side. And that's because of these big springs on the bottom of them. In fact, here, I'll open up the, the stud divider and just let it go. And as you can see, I'm not having to hold them. And that's important, too, because as we're loading and unloading horses, we're not having to hold a divider. It's a lot safer for you getting in and out of here and for the horses as well. But as you can see, they suck towards that driver's side. We did the stud divider at one. So that way, if you wanted some additional storage, you have somebody you need to separate off, you've got that capability here at this first stall. But the other thing I want you to look at is, you know, kick mats all the way up, but also more importantly is these paddle latches for these dividers. These are a powder coated cast aluminum piece, UHMW heavy duty plastic paddle latch itself. That's important because we're not having metal-to-metal -metal contact creating a lot of noise in these. So it 
it reduces some of that noise in the trailer. They're real easy to shut and open. Again, safety for you, safety for the horses. The other thing Cimarron does is this fender. You know, nothing's at a 90 degree, so we don't 90 degree at the top, we don't 90 degree at the back, they taper everything. So again, safer for the horses themselves. Same on the dividers. I mean, everything has a radius. It's nice, it's smooth. Again, horse safety, animal safety is number one, and that's how it should be. Now, let's talk a little bit about this construction. So we are standing on the industry's best floor. I know you can't see it right here, but we do have some cutouts. We'll have some of that down there at Stock Show to show you as well. But we're standing on a 12 inch extruded deck that actually pieces together. It's like Legos. As it all builds together, it gains more and more strength. But that 12 inch deck with that double tongue and groove locks into place and then they weld it. But four inch centers. Four inch centers that run across this whole trailer. There's a V truss in the middle. And what that does is, is wherever you have a horse standing, imagine hoof size, they're always standing on a support beam. What happens is, is other manufacturers will spread their centers out. That's where over time you're getting some pits, some waves in the, in the trailer itself. That's also a place for urine to kind of collect as well in those pits. So it's gonna kind of start eating at that floor. But again, industry's best floor right here. Massive, strong, upright posts. They're more of a square. They're really stiff. Then you work up to this insulated roof that is standard on every single Cimarron. Why that's important is, is in my opinion, it keeps this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof. And I'm telling you what, I know today it's cold, so there's, you know, you don't tell it, but I, in the summertime, when you come onto our lot, it's 95 degrees out here on this asphalt. It is extremely hot. We'll take you to a Cimarron that's all closed up. We'll take you to another manufacturer and you will tell a massive difference in this stall temperature. It will take substantial hail. I can walk on it, I can jump on it. It will not dent that roof. It's a half inch thick, reinforced, insulated roof. It's absolutely fantastic. It is standard on every single Cimarron. That's the other cool thing is when you're dealing with Cimarron, this floor, these upright posts, these door frames that I'll show you, that roof is standard on every Cimarron. There's not different models with different upgrades and different standard features. They all have those, those items. And then from there, obviously, we can do whatever we want to the trailers as far as add-ons and setups. But, you know, fat, fantastic from that side. Every one of them comes with an eight-year structure warranty and a three-year hardware warranty. So they stand behind the product as well. So again, really cool setup in this tack room, again, or, uh, in this stall area. Again, real easy to open and close these, safe for the horses. I want you to also notice we added a little bit of length to this back stall, so we didn't have to telescope this back divider at all. Keeping it nice and solid from that standpoint. And again, that floor is fantastic. If you wanted a, a rear ramp on this trailer, that could be done. We removed the rubber bumper and it attaches right below that and folds up over these dual 50-50 rear doors. We could add a hay rack onto the trailer for you. All those type items are really easy to do uh, from that standpoint there. So you're kind of probably looking at it going, well, what? it's kind of an odd rear opening if we have dual 50-50 doors. And that's because on this back side, we've got a broom closet. So again, a lot more storage in this trailer. This is a great place for maybe a little bit bigger, taller, oversized items. Maybe it's your pitchforks, maybe it's your apple pickers, anything like that, shovels. You got those up high, those hooks. Again, carpet behind it. Maybe you got one of those fold up wheelbarrows, some buckets, anything like that. This is another great place and great storage on this trailer by having that broom closet. And here's a good look at those four drop down windows. And I was talking to you a little bit about door frames in there. This is all framework around these, these drop windows here. It is massive framework. These things are stout. They're gonna hold up over time. Doors and windows, these type items, we're gonna open on this trailer every time we use it. So we need them to hold up. Prefab windows are like a piece of paper in your hand. I mean, they just wobble. Toward this, we can now have this huge opening, creating a lot of airflow. You've got the jail bars, they drop down as well. So if you need to throw some feet in, 
throw some water in, anything like that. You can do that very easily. Nice solid seal and shut to these as well. The other thing that Cimarron has done, this is standard on the newer models, is at the top of drop windows and doors, there's actual drip rail. So it's gonna keep that moisture from getting into that window. You know, as we get here cold and these, you know, Colorado nights, we can get those in there and then it'll actually freeze windows shut to where they kind of have to thaw out. Maybe, you know, tear some weather stripping if you're not careful when you're opening them and closing them. But that weather stripping is now standard. It's not just a piece of aluminum that they've added after the fact. That one piece of extrusion, that is an actual extruded piece that is built that way. So they only build that extrusion for drop windows, doors, any of those openings to keep that moisture away. And then all of these are keyed alike. So all these tack doors, manger doors, bloom, broom closet, drop windows are all the exact same. Speaking of broom, uh, mangers here, we have three manger doors. So again, a lot more storage. We understand you're traveling with a lot of stuff. A lot of people go, oh man, if I just had that one extra, you know, foot of length to it in the tack room or one extra manger or having mangers, I'll be just perfect. <laughs> Usually a lot of times they fill everything up. This is the one I like too as well. The one just ahead of the fenders there is a little bit oversized, so it's really easy to access, get in and out of things. You know, not just dealing with the smaller above the wheels there, you get this little bit oversized one there as well. And then I also want you to notice welded hinges with grease certs on these doors and windows, extremely stout, great and easy to maintain. Cimarron's actually got a picture of a three horse gooseneck with a back door open and they're picking the trailer up with a floor jack and that door and it didn't tweak the door so that's how strong these hinges are and also the door the framework inside these doors as well this very first one at stall number one because we have an access door this drop window is a touch smaller than the others just so we have the proper framework but then we've got access to that first stall so because of that stud divider in there, this could work as an additional storage area for you. If you're only hauling two, three head, you can use this first one, throw in some extra feed, some bedding, any of those type items. They're not gonna get underneath horses as you're driving. You can still access them as you're actually traveling. And then as you go forward to the tack room, there is our matching tack door step, four tier blanket pull rack, brush tray, and that second swing out saddle rack. Again, three tiers, you can add more, you can adjust these, anything you like, you can still walk through this area. It mirrors that other side, tack setup, as far as that entry door, and again, as you can see, that's why it's so popular because I could come on this side, somebody else could go on the other side, we could tack up, do what we need to, everything's right there. Uh, again, just a fantastic setup. We didn't add a whole lot of length to this tack room. Typically over our standards, you know, they're three, six, four foot short walls, this is five, six. We didn't add a ton of length to this trailer by doing this setup, but boy, is it nice and handy. So we've really incorporated this type of setup in some threes, some four horses, obviously, five and six horses. We've got some stock combos with this. So if you're interested in this type of a setup, and maybe that's just not quite what you were looking for, something a little bit, a little bit different. Again, maybe stock, maybe one less horse, anything like that. You know, we can do this. Uh, we've got those on order. They go pretty fast. Some people have already put their names on them, but then we reorder. Uh, we can obviously take care of you and do a custom build as well. But again, let's take a look at this. For reference, if you're interested in, in it or something like it, again, it's a 2022 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Gooseneck. Stock number is 5N211006.
So we encourage you, if you're in Denver at the stock show, come by and see us. We're gonna have some trailers on display. We're gonna have a whole lot of information, a lot of video options for you. You know, we're not gonna be able to take as many trailers as we normally would down there, but that's just because everything is keep selling and, and we've got a couple dedicated for the show. So definitely come by, put your hands on this trailer, walk through it, come and visit with us. We'll be happy to help you in any way we can. If you're interested, give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day.